learn here lead anywhere so if we see uh, the difference between local so we can just experience and we can just compare the difference between local area network and uh, we can see local area network wide power area low power wide area and cellular network so these three uh, we can see the comparison over here so first thing that we is we have uh, what is the analysis that is we here we have it is 40% efficient lp wan is 45% efficient and cellular networks is 15% efficient and uh, the advantage is it is a well established standard in buildings that is uh, lan it is well established in buildings schools and offices and uh, lp wan is low power consumption it is at a low cost and it provides a better positioning and but the main difference between a uh, cellular network and lp wan is that uh, lp wan covers a particular coverage so here cellular network it covers an existing coverage at high data rates and with but in lp wan we have a better uh, efficiency in uh, lan we have uh, issues for battery life provisioning network cost and dependency so how can battery life be an issue to lan is basically you need to connect your switches or routers or other devices to the battery all the time okay but the data speed is pretty good over here and you need to provision the resources so you for if you have say 10 resources 10 computers or 10 clients so you need to provision the resources so that each computer can get resources according to its needs and then in uh, low power wide area network you have high data rates and you have emerging standards and in cellular networks you have autonomy and you have the total cost of ownership so let's see and uh, there's another thing so and uh, lp wan uh, the advantage is it offers multi year battery lifetime and is designated for sensors and applications that need to send small amount of data over a long distance and a few times per hour from varying environments so for our uh, like uh, typical iot devices like lp wan can be used because it has to be sent L iot devices has to be sent data like continuously so and over a long distance so we can use lp wan over multi year battery lifetime and so i like and it is designated basically for the sensors and applications so the what is lora and lora wan so that is another type of lp wan so uh, so lora or lora wan it belongs to a category of non cellular lp wan whereas lp wan is a particular it's a cellular and then there is non cellular lp wan so for that non cellular lp wan we have lora and lora wan so and which is a wireless communication network protocols and players so it uh, the operating in the license free spectrum okay so lora and lora wan it operates in the license free spectrum so some other technologies that operate in the license free frequency bands are we have sigfox sig fox that is a cellular network and we have ingenu and we have several more that are like basically used in the license free network so lora basically stands for low range and is patented digital wireless data communication iot technology and which is developed by cyclo of uh, jernobyl france so it was basically acquired by uh, semtech in 2012 which holds the ip for lora transmission methodology so semtech is the organization that basically holds the ip so and then we have lora wan that defines the communication protocol and system architecture for network while lora physical layer enables a long range communication thing okay so we have the layers of lora in the in the diagram so if we can see here we have the uh, application layer you have the mac layer and you have baseline class b baseline and class c continuous so you have three baselines that is baseline 1 baseline 2 and then there is continuation then you have lora modulation uh, regional ism bands and then you have different so basically uh, lora modulation or region ism bands and then you have the country code so basically these three layers they constitute the physical layer okay and the physical layer basically the main aim for physical layer to enable the long range communication 
and if we see so uh, so and basically this one thing to remember that is that it is possible for lora or lp wan device so lora is also called lp wan device to transmit over a large distance with low power that is why we use it on iot devices since the laws of physical di- physics dictate that in order to transmit over a large distance you either need to increase the power or reduce the bandwidth so that is the two things that you need to keep in mind while you are transferring the data over a large distance either you have to reduce the bandwidth or you have to increase the power because uh, if we don't do that we our data may be able to face noise issues that is why since lora embedded sensors transmit over a large distance but use low power its bandwidth is greatly limited so in this case we limit the bandwidth and we increase the power so if you see about the lora and lora wan so basically the technology is presented in two parts that is lora the physical layer and the communication protocol build upon the underlying lora physical layer okay so the communication layer may be lora wan as uh, we have here that is a lora alliance so this can be the this is the basically communication layer so an open source communication protocol defined by lora alliance so we have the communication protocols which are defined by lora alliance or it may be symphony link that is another protocols another open source communication protocol defined by the company called link lab so we have different companies that gives us the protocols so if we see the lora uh, like the lora wind and defines the communication protocol and system architecture for the network while lora physical layer enables the long range communication okay so if we see the first four layers that is application lora mac mac options and class C, three classes so basically defined by lora align these give us the protocol to ha- about how to send the data and the bottom three layers that constitute the physical layer they tell us uh they basically help us to transfer the data over a long distance by reducing the bandwidth according to physics if we like i'll repeat it so that is the important thing that you need to remember if we are going to send the data over a long distance we need to either increase the power or decrease the bandwidth in this case lora case we are decreasing the bandwidth and increasing the power or we can do both so in this case we are doing the both okay So let's take a look at LoRa WAN network topologies. Okay, so LoRa WAN network, if we see architecture, is deployed in a star of star topologies. We don't have like a bus or a mesh. So we have a star of star topology. Uh, the LoRa WAN network is laid out in star of star. Have base stations relaying in the data between the sensor nodes and the network servers. So if we see. <coughs> so we have a network server we have application servers so application server is something that uh, runs the background applications and the uh, running of the basically the clients uh, in our case the end uh, so the clients can be end node so application layer is now then connect to the network server so network server does what it basically gets the data and so it uh gets the data from n nodes and sends to the application layer and the application layer sends the data uh, and sends it to the n node and that is all done through the network server learn here lead anywhere